What's going on guys? Kai here, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove slash clean slash put back in the um, keys on the Apple MacBook Pro 2012. This is the latest MacBook Pro as of now. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So this could be if you're taking them off to clean them, if one of them is acting funny, you want to take it off and see what's up, if there's something under there, or if one of them popped off accidentally and you want to see how to put it back in. Now this is going to be showing you guys how to put the space bar back in. Okay, so now there's going to be two bars, and pay attention to, you'll see the two little metal bars at the top there, the one I just put down. Now on the bottom, in between, there'll be two notches, and the two notches that are closer together, that's the top of the space bar. So you're going to want to pry that bar off, the metal bar, like I already did there, to in the interest of time. And you're going to take that little metal bar, and on either side of the space bar, you'll see two little metal hooks. As you can see me, there'll be little holes in them, and you basically, it, it's kind of difficult, but you can do it. You just push those, um, the either end of the metal bar into those little hooks like so, and put them down so it's about halfway in um, to the holes there you can see um, in between the two hooks. Now there's another set of hooks on the other side, and basically what you're going to want to do is once that metal bar is in, you're going to want to take the space bar back again, take your the other metal bar on the other side, the bottom side, that's the side with the two larger notches, and you're going to want to pry them up a little bit so they're facing down, <coughs> or facing outwards. Now, what that does is it allows you to place, um, to position it so that you can put those two um, ends of the metal bars into the little holes that you, where you place the other um, metal bar. Sorry. <laughs> so once you do that, you can see here, we just press it down, and basically you just keep pressing, and it'll you'll hear little clicks because there's little notches in there, and the metal bar is popping into place and securing it down onto the keyboard. You can see there um, that now it is almost done just in the end there. I didn't really get that much, but that's pretty much it for the space bar. Now on a normal key to take it off, all you really need to do is to pry it up with your fingers. It's kind of difficult to break it. I would just kind of do it around a little bit, um, some different directions. It's not just one direction. Don't yank it really hard. Just kind of wiggle it around until it comes off. And then that's the key. And then the white part there, which is the part where it actually registers the hit or types it into the keyboard, that'll stay on. You can also take that off as well if you want to clean that too. Now to put it back on, once you're done cleaning it, it's very, very simple. You basically just put the key back on the keyboard and press in until it clicks in with that little um, white notches that are in there. Very, very simple and don't need much more. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later.